Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I am reading the Supreme Court ruling. It is exactly as we said it would be. A crushing blow to the Second Amendment, a vicious attack. Uh, it is uh, trying to validate all of the gun confiscation, gun registration, taxation, basically total control, not just over felons, misdemeanors, any, quote, mental illness that anyone in government claims you have, veterans being disarmed, a reign of hellish terror against our precious Second Amendment, and exactly as we said it would be, and, and then tonight we'll have the newscast, it'll be word for word what I said, because I know the enemy's operations. Second Amendment lives. Well, it would live whether those criminals said it did or not. Supreme Court wire, and it goes on with the headline, Supreme Court finds individual right to own guns. But then it says, we can ban and restrict and control however we want. So it's just like New York 50 years ago said, hey, you got to have a permit, it's $5. Then they just stopped issuing the permit and said, that's the end of it. So I'm going to get Larry Pratt and Zell Aaron Zellman on today. Uh, we also have a lot of other big guests that are going to be on as well that I will tell you about after we come back from break. Uh, I have uh, continued to tell the listeners that according to Department of Education documents, according to Department of Agriculture, Department of Commerce, the Environmental Protection Agency, According to the Ph.D. papers written by the top bioethicists, top eugenicists, top educational uh, slash social welfare people, uh, the, the social workers, that you will all have multiple monthly visits very soon of environmental control officers in your home, in your backyard. Uh, your children will be interrogated daily. That's already happening in most schools about what's in your medicine cabinet, what do they do. Have your children ever seen you naked in the shower? Did they walk in and see you naked? It's over. Your kids are gone. If you ever take a picture of your baby crawling with a picture of their bottom, it's gone. Your child's going to a rape camp where the pedophile rings rape. And I'm not, when I say that, I'm not kidding. I mean, that's true. I live right here in Texas where every facility of the Texas Youth Commission had public rapings with people coming in and paying to rape 10 to 14 year old children and the parking lots would fill at night and have gladiatorial fights, mass rapings and nobody gets in trouble. The government is completely evil. You got a bunch of well-meaning idiots right next to pedophiles, right next to criminals who don't know about it. The Texas Rangers for three years internally tried to bust the Texas Youth Commission and filed reports that you can read on the DPS website that will curl your hair and they were told to shut up and had to leak the information mass raping okay and I see hundreds of such stories every week around this infested nation God help us. Uh, the reason I bring that up is look at this headline. Government permission required for parents to kiss children or be in public. Uh, if a parent want to take their daughter or son to a public pool, uh, that is considered a form of pedophilia. It actually says it. This is, And they're calling it the war on pedophilia. You think it's bad for parents to have their kids taken and because uh, they uh, have a picture of a newborn baby you know, with its bottom? It used to be on the copper tone cover. You think it's uh, bad that uh, these type of things go on? Folks, this is nothing. Mainstream news. Just like they announced breathalyzers to be in all cars. Just like they announced every city is scanning your license plates. Just like they announced everything. It, it's all happening. They're going for broke, ladies and gentlemen. You hug your child, they're gone. You understand? You kiss your child's forehead when you send them off to school, you are going to be arrested. Do you understand? We'll be right back. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. 
It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Appeared to be an assassination attempt a few days ago on Nicolas Sarkozy, who's banning free speech in France, taxing the Internet, basically a uh, Mossad agent publicly. We got Wayne Madsen, formerly with the National Security Agency National Reconnaissance Office, joining us coming up in an hour. Uh, Paul Watson in 30 minutes to talk about the headline, Government Permission Required for Parents to Kiss Children, Hug Children, Go to Public Places with Children. It's the same system in England and the U.S. Uh, you will be arrested if you are seen hugging your child. Uh, folks, you can't make this up. I've got mainstream news saying all cars to have breathalyzers, everything face scanning you, microphones everywhere, everything being tracked. Uh, they're hiring felons in every major police department. Uh, they're hiring felons in the military, thousands and thousands a year, aggravated felons. Uh, I mean, it's just all red-level meltdown, total insanity, twilight zone. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pinching myself every millisecond now. The government is so rogue, so corrupt, so evil. And their policy, and they've said this, is to go for total broke, to have everything be so shocking that we just don't even know what to do. Meanwhile, the public's on their iPhones and watching TV and partying, getting drunk, and has no idea what's going on. No idea that the GMO food is killing everyone that eats it. It, it is frying your body, massively increasing cancer, destroying your intestines, your stomach, your glands, every major disease skyrocketing, women's lung cancer up seven times in ten years, uh, just diabetes up multi-thousand-fold, autism, just young people everywhere I know well, with cancer, 20 years old, 10 years old, 5 years old, dying, just all, uh, just hell on earth, all the statistics exploding, foreigners running all over us, Americans being kidnapped, truck bombs, rocket attacks, Mexican troops attacking everywhere, in the back of the paper if you're lucky, just the dollar imploding in value, crime exploding. The average person has no idea it's even happening. Good God. They've ruled on the Second Amendment a devastating attack, the most vicious attack ever. And as usual in this false reality, it's being hailed as a big win for the Second Amendment. We have Larry Pratt joining us coming up in two hours. Let's get Zellman on with him, too. I'm reading over the ruling right now, and we will detail it. It just came out in the last uh, hour and a half. We will go over it in full detail coming up. Call everybody you know. Tell them to tune in at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. Then at 2 o'clock, we've got Bob Chapman popping in. So Paul Watson, Wayne Madsen, Larry Pratt. We'll get into the economy with Bob Chapman. It's just Jordan Maxwell for another two hours on Friday tomorrow and Charles Key, a state rep. They've passed a law to basically secede from the union under the New World Order system because the, the, the federal government is no longer federal. South Dakota's talking about it. Ohio's talking about it. Uh, Texas has been discussing it. New Hampshire's been discussing it. Uh, Arizona's been discussing it. Senator Karen Johnson was on a few weeks ago with us about that. Because for anybody that actually knows what's going on, we are the, the whole country is being handed over to foreign assets right now. <laughs> Just for people that aren't informed, it's kind of like I'm sitting here on the deck of an aircraft carrier and kamikaze planes are smashing into it, and the public's out there playing badminton on the deck of the ship, giggling and laughing as gasoline and napalm explode, and they're on fire laughing. I mean, it is the, the things happening, attempted assassinations of heads of state, the craziness, the, the checkpoints, the weird black ops that are going on, the military buildups, uh, the CBS News reporting, okay, looks like the U.S. and Israel are going to attack Iran. I mean, just wall-to-wall -wall insanity. 345 arrests, kids rescued, and prostitution busts. The feds did this, and this, this ties in with uh, the illegal aliens. I mean, look at this. Police report. Mexican Army members busted for home invasion and murder inside the United States. They came into Phoenix. How many miles is that from the border? In a home invasion and homicide Monday, active members of the Mexican Army. Folks, they're running hits in Austin, hits in Indianapolis, Indiana, hits in Dallas. We've had car bombs go off, and they will put it in the back of the paper. Can you imagine if anybody else blew up, had a, had a car bombing or rocket attacks in Texas? Rocket attacks. 
hand grenades are thrown into newspapers on a monthly basis. You tell an idiot out on the street, the cops don't even know about this. This is uh, KFYI TV. Police report, Mexican Army members busted for home invasion and murder. Here's another one. This is Bloomberg. Texas real estate slump lets Mexicans take it back. More than a century and a half after Mexico lost Texas in the U.S., Mr. Garza wants to, a piece of it back. A Texas for sale sign and cowgirls and boots and white hats greeted Garza at the Convex Center in Monterey, Mexico earlier this month. A Monterey developer and investor, Garza, was in search of foreclosure with property to buy. Garza, who owns manufacturing sites and other land in Mexico, said he and five partners will invest $8 million in Texas. And then he goes on, I'm going to read all this later, saying they're taking it back from Mexico. 